Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another video with That's Awkward ASMR. Today we're going to play a brand new game that is exclusive to the Nintendo Switch called Stitch. It looks very relaxing and I'm excited. I just played the demo or the um, tutorial really quick just so I could kind of get a um, feel for how to play and then we will play the next level together. So the point of the game is to connect the cells in the hoop um, and then basically stitch a cute little image. So we're going to be doing a frog. It is a small size and it is very easy as it is the level right after the tutorial. I saw this during the Indie Direct and it looked very cute. So as you can see, it said three, so you need to connect three stitches, and each one is different. Um, you can drag and hold, and now you can do six, and then you end the stitch, and this one says two, so you connect it by two, and you can go either way, as long as it connects. And there we go. We are 20% done this stitch. So this one needs three. This one needs three, and I'll probably go two that way. Probably four, two, and then four. So we'll start with the four here. And there we go. And we'll click there. It's really cute. I really thought this game looked very interesting on the Indie Direct that just happened. Um, as of my recording, it happened this morning. By the time you see the video, it will have happened yesterday. Um, very cute, though. And it was so unique, and I really um, just thought it looked so interesting and um, really cute. And I think there's also touch control, so if you're playing on your Switch, um, like you're holding it in your hands, you could just play um, with like a stylus if you have one of those. Um, so very relaxing, very relaxing and chill vibe. I think I'll even leave the music on because it's very relaxing, very chill game. So see, they're getting more complex. It's still in easy mode, but, you know, a little more thinking is going to have to be done as we go through these puzzles. So that's three. This is six. In the trailer, it looks like it gets quite complicated, the puzzles, so really excited to continue. This is one. Maybe we just leave the one. Maybe it's kind of finished. So we'll go this way. This is for the eye. Okay, so one means you don't have to do anything. There's a little frog. <laughs> nice. Oh, you get a percentage for not using hints. I didn't even realize I could use hints. Our final score. Nice. So I think we'll continue in the first stitches. We have unlocked patterns for beginners. So I think we'll just continue. We'll do a heart next. Ooh, very adorable. Okay, and this is a white, oh, red. I'm excited to see how this one turns out. And we'll do three cross. We'll do six. And six. Nice. Okay. We'll do hmm, five, two, three this way, four, and four. There we go. Nice. Oh, okay. This one looks. Let's get my brain wrapped around this. So we'll do five, three, three, 
three, two here, four. So now the outer is done. And then two this way. Oh, nice. Cute. I like that pattern. Very cute. Okay, and now we've done the heart. We'll do, looks like a cupcake. Cupcake, and we'll finish first stitches. Nice. So these are threes. So we'll do three, three, Uh, oh, maybe I made a mistake. Uh-oh. Here, we'll restart it. Maybe I made a mistake that way. Oh, I see what I did. It should have been this way. There we go. That makes sense, because if this is a cupcake, this is the, um, like the tin that it sits in. And they kind of have that. There we go. All right, so we have six, so we have two, two, and then six, I think. Nice. So we'll do two on the bottom. Four. Four, and then two's on top. Nice. And we'll do five. Four. Two. Two, and then six. Ooh, this is looking good. And here, we'll do three. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we do four, three, two, two. So you really have to look. Sometimes I just assume. There we go. Oh, cute. It's a little heart decoration on top. Nice. So we've done all of the first stitches, and now we just go to patterns for beginners, and we have a little penguin. It is still in a very easy difficulty. Ooh, 12. Okay, we're getting into some bigger stitching now. So we'll do five, four, two, Two, three, three, and then six. Nice, very cute. Okay, I think the four just goes up to connect the black pieces. Oh, we have an eight. <laughs> it's a little flipper. And there we go. And then two's across. Nice. So we'll continue the black trim for four. We'll do six, three, five all the way down, and then threes across. There we go, really filling out. So we'll keep going with the black first. Three and two and then five, there we go. We know eight is our second little foot. There we go. Four. Oh, six. That way, because this is four. And then three is across and up. Beautiful. Ooh, six and nine. So we'll do six. And then nine. Nice. We have six and six. Trying to fill out the upper part of our penguin here before the 
the head. Okay, we're at the head portion. Twos. Four. Two. Nope, that's not two. Or is it? I made a mistake, maybe. So we got a beak up there. Two. Oh, I made a mistake. We'll restart this. Let's do the fours first. Four. Four. There we go. Shut it on the fours first. And then four up top. There we go. Okay, so this is four. And this one's four. So it could be a one or a four. That's what we've seen based on our last pattern. That goes this way because this is a three. This is five and five. How do we do five? Oh. Oh, straight down. <laughs> See, you just got to look at the puzzle different. There we go. Oh, it's got little blushy cheeks. Okay, we have eight, five, three, three, and then six. Nice. So we got half the head, well, a little under half. We're doing the middle now. We have two, two, two. So that's the whole front peak. Three. Finish out the sides. Two, 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 and then fours across. Beautiful. <laughs> it is so cute. So we have eight, two, and the threes, I believe, go this way. So the twos can come across and meet in the middle. Nice. So we've done this one. Four. Four for the eye and the blushy. The five connects the black, and this five connects the yellow or the off white kind of cream, and then the twos. There we go. So cute. I love that one. Very cute. So that's our pattern for beginners. Ooh, confident. We've unlocked confident stitcher. We'll finish patterns for beginners. So let's go to the next pattern. A toy truck. And we have xylophone. The toy truck is, I think, a little less, if I looked at it right. So we'll start with the toy truck. We have a two up and down, up, and a three across. Nice. So that's the inner wheel. We have three. So this is the black tire. Oh, whoops. Four. And then five. There we go. So these are obviously three either side. Ooh, it's even kind of shiny. Very neat. Two down. Three down, two side, and then three across. Nice. Okay, so we have six. So we'll do the four first, right across. And then six down to meet. There we go. Very cute. So four, two, for across for this orange part. This part's darker though. I can't wait to see how this turns out. I'm sure as they get more complex, they look more complex as well in the final image. So we have six, three, four, three, two, and then six. Nice. Yeah, see, there's a darker pattern here and up here. So I'm excited to see how that ends up there. And three, 
And there we go. Okay, oh, we have a 10. I like this gray. I like the way this looks. It makes it look shiny. Nice. So we have four, three, six. Wrong. Done that very wrong. I was probably supposed to do three across. That's seven. That's five, four. Yeah, six, there we go. There we go. Oh, it's like those are the inner, you know, the parts of the truck that go in a little bit. That's what these darker spots are, I think. Okay. This one's getting a little, okay. We'll do four. Two, two. Is that wrong? Might be wrong. Okay. It can't be eight like that. It's gotta be eight like this? No. Or is it eight across? No. Hmm. Six, five, seven. nope. Is that wrong? This one is really tripping me up. Oh, the f okay, wait. <laughs> this one's tripping me up a little bit. Okay, let's do two, two, three. Phones. This one will be probably very colorful, I would assume. Whoops, and oh, whoops, 11 down. Nice. Okay, we're gonna do two and then 11 all the way down and all the way back up and three. Two, oh, whoops. Two, two, and two. Nice. Oh, maybe it's a wooden xylophone. Maybe it won't be as, um, seven would be to here. Three, two, three, or two, sorry, three, four, two, and three. Five down, two across, six down, and then seven. Nice. Okay, so that was the first little thing. Three across, two, four. Not gonna work. Eight, eleven. Okay, that's 
working. Seven, two, three, two, two, and two. Nice. Okay, so we're doing two, seven, two, four, four, three up, three down, three down. Three this way. There we go. And three across. There we go. The green is so nice. Okay. So three across for these. Ooh, the purples. Oh, I love the purple. Two, nine down. And six. Okay. Four. Three, two, that's wrong. Oh, I accidentally clicked hint. No, I didn't want a hint. I accidentally clicked it. All right, I can do it without the hint. I think I messed it up. I think they go this way, yeah. There we go. Man, it's gonna say I, <laughs> I used a hint, I didn't mean to. Cute, very adorable. I really enjoy this game. All right, let's move to Confident Sticker. It looks like we're going to be doing a plush toy. So we've moved from very easy to easy. So we'll do two. And then six. For the nose, we'll start at the corner. Very cute. We'll do twos. Twos and fours. <laughs> so adorable. And four. Nice. Okay, so this is a four. Two, two, and two. Four down, two up, four up, and then two. Nice. So part of the eye is done. Whoops, to the side. Okay, I clicked on that one again by accident. There we go. Okay, three down, three to the side. And I'm gonna go three up, because I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing there. Three to the side, three up, and then three is in the middle. Four to the end, and then three down. Perfect. And now we're moving on to the other side of the bear. Okay, think I did this wrong. Definitely did that wrong. Let's restart it for a sec. Okay. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I thought the game froze. Okay, here we go. So, I actually think I should have done this way. There we go. See, now the three doesn't have a space. There we go. Four for the eye. We'll do six on the side. Two, three, three. And then we have the twos top and side. And there's our little face. We have three, two, Three, six, I did it wrong. Wrong again. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's probably like that. There we go. Starting at the bottom sometimes helps me out. So these are all twos. So 
I'm assuming we're just gonna kind of crisscross it. There we go. So adorable. Okay. Um, we'll do three up, so we can have little sections of four. Two's across, two up, and then sections of four. Perfect. We have section of four, two, threes across, twos at the bottom, two up, and then four as a section. Beautiful. We'll do three to the top, two to the sides, three across, four across, twos, and then fours in sections. Okay, four down with the two for the different color. We'll do, oh, maybe we don't do that because it looks like this might actually do this. Yes, 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 see, because I have to follow this pattern. And we're going to do this. And there we go. Okay. So we have six, three, two, and four. There we go. We're almost done. Our adorable little bear friend. Six, twos and threes. Nice. So this one's in four sections. Four sections of four. There we go. Now we're going right to the middle. Um, so two up. Wow, very red in the middle. Oh, whoops. Not the three. We're going for the two. There we go. Oh, I think it's like a bow tie. Very cute. So three. Two, two, two. There we go. And we'll do three, six, and then threes across. Lovely. So adorable. And it was a little bow tie. <laughs> so cute. Congratulations. You have now you now have access to the full game. Select hoops to solve or have fun playing in free stitch mode. Wow. So we've unlocked Ooh, some really difficult ones. Brain twisters. These look difficult. We have quick and easy. Hoops for beginners. So there's more in that section. And then we have a lot more. Oh, ranked rewards. Wow, animals. Retro games and hobbies. Lots of different sec or um categories i was going to say sections sections categories they're kind of similar very interesting well if you want to check this game out yourself and do some relaxing um stitching digitally check out stitch on nintendo switch it is an exclusive it's not a timed exclusive. They said it was just exclusive to Nintendo Switch. Um, I really enjoyed this. I hope it helped you relax, take a break, maybe even sleep. If you enjoyed this video, please, please be sure to like it and comment below. It always helps the more people to find the video when a lot of people are commenting or liking the video so more people can enjoy some relaxing ASMR kind of gameplay. Thank you so much, and I hope that you have sweet, sweet dreams. <laughs>